Chris Frisch, Technical Support Specialist with Jscape. In this video, I will show you how to use Jscape AnyClient to connect to Amazon S3 services. With AnyClient, you can upload and download files from your Amazon S3 account. You can create directories and create buckets without having to log in to Amazon S3 Admin Console in your browser. So let's begin. First of all, we need to click on File, and then click on Site Manager. We need to create a new site to connect to. We will give our new site a name, and we will select the Amazon S3 protocol type. We then need to input our access key and our secret key in order to connect to Amazon S3 services in our account. I have mine copied and pasted here. So I'm just going to copy and paste the secret key in. And you have three tabs here that contain different options, which include the use of server-side encryption, as well as PGP encryption settings. And this is pretty much all we need now to connect to our Amazon S3 account. So we can go ahead and click Connect. And as you can see, I already have a couple of buckets created here. We can go into uh, a bucket here and create a new directory. And we can also upload and download files. So I'm just going to create a new directory here. And we see that works. Using Jscape AnyClient can be a great asset when managing your Amazon S3 account. As part of the Jscape product line, Jscape AnyClient offers a wide range of flexibility and access in a single, easy-to-use format. If you would like more information on Jscape AnyClient or Jscape MFT server products, please visit jscape.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.